वेलकम टू दी हार्ट गार्डियन पॉडकास्ट फॉर हेल्दी हार्ट आई एम डॉक्टर अमन कपूर योर होस्ट ज्वाइन अस ऑन दिस जर्नी टूवर्ड्स हेल्थियर हार्ट इन पार्टनरशिप विद महाराष्ट्र इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हेल्थ साइंसेज चेयर ऑफ प्रिवेंटिव कार्डियोलॉजी एंड माधोबाग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ प्रिवेंटिव कार्डियोलॉजी वी आर हियर टू प्रोवाइड यू विद वैल्यूएबल इंसाइट्स एंड टिप्स फॉर कीपिंग योर हार्ट हेल्दी Our goal is to empower you with latest information on heart health, prevention strategies and overall well-being. We will cover various topics including risk factors, lifestyle diseases and advancements in preventive cardiology. With the support of our expert team, we will guide you towards informed decisions for keeping your heart healthy. Whether you are looking for preventing heart disease or managing your existing conditions, Heart Guardian is your companion. So sit back, relax, and join me in this journey towards keeping your heart healthy. Let's join with our expert today and understand how you can make your heart healthier with the Heart Guardian. Accidents come unannounced, and that's the reason why they are called accident. Heart attack and heart emergencies, or any such medical emergencies, are such accidents that they come unannounced. The only way you can keep yourself safe against these emergencies is by having the right knowledge and timely action of performing CPR that is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Joining with me today is the amazing renowned cardiologist chair of preventive cardiology at the Maharashtra Institute of Health Sciences Dr Jagdish Hiremart sir. Jagdish sir welcome and please guide us around how we can arm ourselves with the right knowledge of performing CPR Today we'll know about sudden cardiac death and cardiopulmonary resuscitation We often hear these days people collapsing and dying suddenly and young individuals are not spared of this Celebrities of various fields have collapsed and died in public This occurrence is known as sudden cardiac death or the SCD. In this suddenly the heart stops and the blood from the heart does not get out into the body especially to the brain which results into sudden cardiac death. The overall incidence of this is not just rising but is getting reported more often than before. When a person has SCD many of these can be revived to life if scd happens in a well equipped hospital the chances of survival is close to about 8 out of 10 but when it happens on the road it can be as low as 0 in some of the countries our indian record is quite dismal in this but in developed countries where the techniques of revival of heart the cpr has percolated in the society the survival rate can go up to 7 out of 10 the technique by which the sudden cardiac death victim can be revived is known as cardio pulmonary resuscitation the stopped heart needs to be kick started which will in turn make the lungs to breathe better and this will lead to the revival when sudden cardiac death happens in a hospital expert team is pressed into action there is hardly any time delay necessary chest compressions are performed drugs are instilled shock with a defibrillator is given and if required a ventilator can be used this kind of a effective cpr is not available when scd happens on the roads or in a public place outside the hospital in these situations within 3 minutes the heart needs to be started so that the brain does not face any damage and within 10 minutes if a life is to be saved so bystanders who are around the person who collapses need to know about cpr basics and with this bystander cpr one can save up to 5 out of 10 lives and if a shock machine or the aed machine is available in the public places and if used effectively the saved life count can go up to 8 out of 10 When a person collapses and if you are the bystander first note the time when it happened get this person on the hard floor not on a bed or a table top kneel by the side of this individual and try to arouse by a slight thump on his chest or shout at him if possible try to check the pulse of the individual 
in the side of the neck or at the wrist. You can put a palm on the abdomen of this person to feel whether it is moving up and down. This is checking for the breathing. If there is no response to your thumb, if there is no pulse, if there is no breathing, you have recognized a sudden cardiac death, SCD. After which actually the CPR should start. Every collapse need not be a sudden cardiac death. Sometimes people get into low blood pressure due to dehydration, due to dysentery or medication. There could be just a common faint due to emotional disturbances. So these people usually come up and revive on their own and they do not have sudden cardiac death. They do not need CPR. However, if you have recognized a sudden cardiac death by way of no response, no pulse, no breathing, your first reflex should be to call for help. Somebody can make arrangements to call for the nearest possible ambulance and the other person can kneel by the side of the victim for CPR. For an effective CPR, one should keep one's back straight but bend over in such a form that your shoulders on the body of the victim lock the palms one into the other. Keep these two palms at the lower end of the rib cage. Keep the elbows straight and start chest compressions. The chest should get depressed by about 2 to 3 inches and released to come back to normal. The frequency of the compression should be 1 per second. Such chest compressions actually keep the flow out of the heart into the body and keep the person alive for a significantly long time. This technique is simple and needs to be learnt and remembered. In the meantime, the person who is on the phone can get the ambulance and get the AED machine if it is available. After the chest compressions, if there is no response, the AED machine can be used to shock this individual and this CPR should continue till medical help arrives or at least half an hour is passed without any response. The cause of the sudden cardiac death need not be thought of at this point of time. It can be a heart attack. It can be just another cause of sudden cardiac death like drowning, electric shock, rhythm disturbance of the heart and so many other causes. That cause can be ascertained when the patient is revived and is taken to the hospital. Bystander CPR with chest compression alone is now made popular in the world because mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing, which was used in the past, before corona, is now practically given up. This bystander CPR can be performed by any person who is above 15 years of age. The police rules are such that the bystander person will not be questioned and there will be no legal tangles involved in giving CPR. It is said that the safest place to have a sudden cardiac death in the world is Seattle because almost 75% of the population is aware of what CPR is and the chance to reach a hospital alive is very bright in Seattle. In our society, it is dismally low and that's why we hear about so many deaths happening in the public. More specialized reading, YouTube courses are available and should be taken up by every individual. One must make every effort to know what CPR is, learn it and summon the courage to implement it when it is badly required. It's a life skill, almost like cycling and swimming. It's not difficult to save a life by scientific CPR. And there is no karma like saving a life. Thank you so much, Dr. Jakti Hiramad, sir, for generously sharing your expertise and insights with us today. Your valuable contributions have brought immense value to our discussion and inspired us to prioritize our heart health and take proactive steps towards healthier heart future. Now, I'm with this knowledge gained from this conversation. I'm sure, friends, it's time for action. Embrace the power you hold to make positive changes in your life, nurturing the well-being of your heart. Remember to stay connected with us by subscribing to our podcast, following us on social media, and you can find a wealth of resources in the upcoming episodes filled with informative discussions and practical tips to support your healthy heart.
Thank you for being an essential part of Heart Guardian Podcast for Healthy Heart. Together we can make and create a future where our hearts beat stronger and we live life to the fullest. Our heart and your heart matters. We are here to support you in every way. Goodbye for today.